This is Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood talent manager in LA, California. And so we're talking about success today. And there are two kinds of people, I think, in this world. And I'm going to explain the difference to you. And we can look and take a look and see where you are. One kind of person is the kind of person who thinks that lucky things are going to happen to them, that an opportunity is going to present itself that is going to give them an opportunity to achieve something or to experience something. Some, somebody is going to open a door, it's going to fall in their lap, and they're going to be able to take advantage of this opportunity and become the person that they're dreaming of being. That, that something about them, you know, is going to... You know, they're going to meet the right person somewhere and then somebody's going to present them an opportunity and it's just going to all work out fine. And what, But the problem is that that never comes to fruition that way. That That is typically never how it happens. Then there's another kind of person. There's the kind of person that makes their own opportunities. The kind of person who creates their own luck by taking action and getting themselves into the right place at the right time, by putting themselves around the right kind of people, putting themselves in circumstances where they can meet people that will help them or, or accomplish certain things. There's two different mentalities. You know, either you think that it's going to happen for you and someone else is going to do it, or you realize that you are the driving force in your own life that you are the one who sets the goals, who sets the actions, who takes the steps and creates whatever it is that you want because truly anything is possible. You know, you are the only one who can determine your fate. You are the driving force in your life and you are the brake in your life. You can put a halt on everything that you dream of by not taking action, by having the wrong attitude, by thinking that other people are going to do it. And I really am so interested in helping and helping you and hoping that you get this, helping you become the kind of person who takes your own initiative. You know, the people who become the president of Fortune 500 companies or movie stars or, or anything take their own initiative. They decide for themselves, here's what I'm going to do. And I am going to take X, Y, Z steps. And along the way, I'm going to meet new people who teach me more things. And I'm going to develop new attitudes and new techniques and new, new relationships. But I'm going to create my own opportunities. As an actor, I'm not going to sit around and wait for someone to cast me in something. I am going to write my own play, rent a theater on Melrose, put it on myself, call all the newspapers, have them come review it for free. I'm going to make sure I cast other great actors in it, pick a really interesting story, and I'm going to do interviews, radio interviews, and I'm going to do everything I can to give myself the career I want to have. And then you have another kind of actor that's sitting there waiting for someone to cast them in something. There is a big difference between successful people and unsuccessful people. And it's all about what kind of person are you? Are you the kind of person that waits for other people to do it? Or are you the kind of person that creates the experience, the opportunities yourself? And think about that. You know, ask yourself that question. Because ultimately, if you end up in a dead-end job that you don't really love, with uh, a, a nine-to-five career that you hate, doing menial work that doesn't interest you, that your creativity is not expressed, and you just feel like life has no purpose or no meaning, you put yourself there. If that's where you end up, you put yourself there. Because guess what? I'm telling you today, you have another choice. You have a completely another choice. Is that a word? You have another choice. <laughs> if you end up in 10 years in some menial job you don't like, it's because you didn't pay attention to what I'm telling you today. Today could change your life. If you decide to let this video get in your head and make a difference. If tomorrow you take different action because of what I'm telling you today. If you have a goal and a dream, you can make it happen. Every single person around you who's ever achieved anything had a vision, a goal, that that's what they were going to do. And think about the people that were immigrants and came from like foreign countries into Ellis Island with nothing on their, nothing but the clothes on their back. They left everyone they knew. They left terrible circumstances. And they came to this country not knowing if it would be better or worse, but knowing they had to get out of there. And then they came here and figured out the language. They didn't know the language when they got here. They figured it out. Some of them did things they didn't 
know how to do, but they gained a new skill. Some of them were, were business owners who owned property, owned a successful business, and it was stolen from them, from people, when their countries were taken over. And they had an upscale life and had to come here and start from scratch, and they were poor. They didn't know what that was going to turn out, but they had something that was unique to successful people. They had ambition and they had drive. They had a desire and an intention to create something else, to create something powerful for themselves. And they came over here through Ellis Island and started new businesses, made new friends, learned a new language, developed new skills, and they were determined to have the life they envisioned for themselves, for themselves and for their family. What kind of person are you? Are you a person who just says, I want to be a singer? but I don't know what to do. So I guess I'll get this job at the grocery store and just go about my life day in and day out. Look at me. Because I think that's what that kind of attitude makes you feel like. <laughs> You're just living your life with no passion, no purpose, no direction, no goals. If that's you, that's your fault. No one else is responsible for your achievements but you doesn't mean that people won't come along while you're taking strides and give you opportunities but they won't give you those opportunities if you're sitting in your house dreaming about it you got to be the one in the forefront of your life directing the concert of your life adding the new skills adding new powerful people adding new experiences bringing in this whole choir into your life breathing life into your life that is how you're going to become successful it, it is a choice. It's a choice. What are you choosing today? What did you choose yesterday? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Today is a new day. Do not focus on the past. You are not your past. I, sometimes people email me and say, you know, I come from a poor family, so I don't have the money to do this class or take these headshots. Okay, well, so what if you came from a poor family? That was their issue. That's not your future. That's not, unless that's what you want. That's not your reality, unless that's what you create. You can create financial abundance. You can create an abundance of opportunities. You are the master of your own destiny. And I don't mean that like you're superior to God. I'm saying you're put on this planet with skills and a brain and opportunities and, and drive and dreams in your heart and in your soul and you are given choice you are given the ability to act i was watching this video yesterday of this engineer who was born without arms and he drives and he's a graphic artist he uses his feet he uses his feet to create these intricate CAD drawings and design like NASCAR engines. And when a NASCAR driver needs a faster car, he designs all of this with his feet. He opens the door with his chin. He feeds himself on this spoon that... <sighs> the spoon turns around and he dips it with his mouth into the food, then turns the spoon back around with his face and eats off the spoon. This is drive. He's determined to be successful in his life no matter what has happened to him, no matter what the odds, no matter what horrible thing he's dealing with, he's choosing to be successful because he has a positive attitude and he knows that he is responsible for creating whatever it is he wants to create and manifest in life and so are you I think that's the magic and the beauty of life is that every day when you wake up you can say thank you God for another day and I always do this thank you God for another day show me how I can be a service to other people and how I can be the best version of myself and show me how I can manifest and utilize everything you've put inside me to become even greater today than I was yesterday. Thank you, God, for my life. I say that every day. And every day I strive to wake up and be a better person and a more powerful person than I was yesterday and encourage you to be more powerful, more productive people. Take responsibility for yourself. 
take responsibility for your choices get conscious about how amazing you really are you are built with such incredible mental power and human beings are such phenomenal creations every single thing you see around you in this world airplanes space shuttles um, schools roads buildings clothes jewelry doctors science was created by people who have ideas and follow through on them and that is why you can do the same exact thing there is nothing different about you than the most successful people in the world other than your choices and your attitude there's nothing different you are just as capable just as powerful and just as awesome and amazing as every other successful person in the world you just have to tap into your choice and make a conscious decision to change your life from the status quo from your old habits from your negative thinking change it to the positive thinking focus on what is powerful about you make strong choices take bold action and watch the amazing things that you can create in your life you are a powerful magnificent human being who is capable of anything so use that power don't let that sit there and rot use that power that is who you really really are so go have fun with that you got the information in your head watch this tape over and over and over and over don't ever let this information leave you when you feel afraid or start to stutter put this back on remember you're capable you can do it go for it and I can't wait to see what you achieve